not too long ago, for they redid Cruella. And let you know Joker was not a bad fella. Ron Howard gave old Dr. Seuss a new pass to explain why the Grinch always hated Christmas. He explained why the Who's are so cloyingly pleasant, the awards they give out, their obsession with presents, which Who sorts the mail and which Who's have more income. Then they still don't explain why they have such big filtrums. Um, that's the space between your nose and lip. Look it up. <clears throat> but believe it or not, the film gets quite exhausting, like eating a cake that's just made out of frosting. So on with the trailer, no further ado, here's Jim Carrey's Grinch, plus Cindy Lou too. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Welcome to Whoville, a tiny town inside of a snowflake that may be part of a whole cinematic universe. These little nightmares may not know Jesus, but they do worship Christmas. Another minute closer to Christmas! <laughs> And it's turned them all into spiteful, jealous little breed monsters, where the only thing more shallow than their morals is the gene pool. I mean, come on, they all have the same face and last name? Would it kill them to pork a what from Whatville or a Y from Whyville now and then? This is why you don't pass first base with your cousin, guys. Everyone aboard this inbred little snowflake lives in fear of the Grinch. <laughs> the third of Jim Carrey's wacky green characters who would probably kill you. He grew up amongst the Who's, but he doesn't share their beliefs or holidays. So let's just say he's Who-ish. Prepare to relate to his seasonal anxiety and depression. But what if it's a cool prank? What if it's a cash bar? Am I just eating because I'm bored? And love him simply by association with his perfect dog. Who's a good boy, yes, man? Yes, you are, yes. But it won't take a cute pop or a tragic backstory to get you on the Grinch's side. Just the knowledge that his makeup took so long to put on, a CIA agent had to train Jim Carrey how to endure torture. Punch yourself in the leg so it was, or, or smoke. Smoke as much as you possibly can. So I was this Grinch sitting eating. <laughs> <laughs> Settle in for a tale narrated by the white Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch? He even took their last can of who hash. About a determined little stalker named Cindy Lou, whose performance is so sickly sweet, they keep finding an excuse to flush her down a tube. <laughs> She's up against an evil mayor who grew from an eight year old bully to a grown ass man bully to a real life bully. But no one involved in the film is more dark and crooked than Ron Howard and his cinematographer. Why is everything at an angle? And why is it all so nasty? Since when did he become Ginger Tim Burton? Five bucks! Five! You remember the 69-page book, nice, and the classic animated film. But now the story's runtime is stretched out with a bunch of physical abuse. Jim Carrey doing shtick of varying quality. Blast you! and more barely contained horniness than a mistletoe bell buckle. Did I have a crush on the Grinch? Well, of course not. I didn't ask you that. Wait, why is it so horny? Ah. Mmm. I thought this was for kids. A key party? The Who's are all swingers? Ew, I don't want to see the Grinch's O face. Oh. Ah, why does he have a Grooty? Dr. Seuss would never. Oh, never mind. He totally would. Man clearly celebrates Thickbus. Let's see that Grinch dumper one more time. For the erotic pleasures of women and men. So if you want to see a heartfelt version of how the Grinch stole Christmas, watch the 26-minute special from the 60s. But if you want to capture the mood of what it's like to smoke Sherm at a Christmas parade, watch Jim Carrey's other creepy Christmas movie. <laughs> but if you want to watch a disturbing revenge fantasy starring a Carrey, watch this film. Or just watch Carrie. They're basically twins. Starring Salad Fingers. All I want for Christmas are two huge front teeth. The only character I can stand to look at. Post Alone. Hooper Star. There's always Mary in the banana stand, hot for creature, baby Choda, and home improvement. Jib wasn't supposed to pull the tablecloth off that cleanly and just kind of went with it. Legend. 10 Things I Hate About Who. The Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Symptoms of an enlarged heart include shortness of breath, swelling, and death. Please call your doctor if you experience an excess of Christmas cheer.